Okay, so um, colors uh, can be as adjectives can be categorized into three groups. We have the first group, they act like um, normal adjectives such as, uh, for example, bello, alto, etc. that we did in our first units. Um, so their endings can change to O, A, E and I depending on gender and depending on number. Then we have our E, I adjectives, marrone, verde, arancione. This group, they only change um, for the plural. So in the singular, they always end in E, whether they're masculine or feminine. And in the plural, they always end in an I, whether they be masculine or feminine again. Um, this is similar to um, uh, adjectives such as intelligente that we came across in um, describing people, grande, or um, going back to nationalities, um, francese, for example. Our final category um, is a group of adjectives that, uh, for which the last letter never changes. So with these, you don't need to worry about gender or number. They will always have that particular ending. So viola, blu, rosa, never change. Now let's go through some examples. Let's start with il vestito, the dress. And let's look at how we could say white dress, black dress, etc. So vestito is masculine. So in our first category, we have all four options. We want masculine, singular. Il vestito bianco. Il vestito nero. Il vestito azzurro. Il vestito rosso, il vestito giallo, il vestito grigio. It will always be with an O. Let's look at our second category. So if I want to say a brown dress, il vestito marrone. My only options are E or I. Vestito is masculine. Well, I don't need to worry about the fact that it's masculine, actually. I just need to worry about the fact that it's singular. So I'm going to choose the E ending. Um, a green dress, il vestito Verde, orange dress, il vestito arancione. Uh, let's go to the last category. These never change, so it's a no thinker. Il vestito viola, il vestito blu, and il vestito rosa. It doesn't change at all. So let's now try la gonna, which is feminine and singular. So let's look at our first category. We want to say white. Um, skirt. So we have our options of O, A, E, I. Well, gonna is singular and feminine, so we want the A option. So a white skirt. La gonna bianca, black. La gonna nera. La gonna azzurra. La gonna rossa. La gonna gialla. La gonna grigia. Okay, now let's go to our next category. Um, for gonna, uh, it is, we, the only option is E or I. La gonna is singular, so we're going to go for our E option. La gonna marrone. La gonna verde. La gonna arancione. Finally, we're going to um, look at our third category. Remember, this one is a no-brainer. It doesn't change. So, la gonna viola. La gonna blu. And la gonna rosa. Okay, um, now let's try i pantaloni. When we look at pantaloni, the I at the beginning is telling us um, that it is masculine and that it is plural. So let's look at our first category. This is a category in which we have the options of O, A, E, I. We want the masculine plural option, which is the I ending. So all of our um, colors will end in I in relation to i pantaloni. I pantaloni bianchi. Note that I'm going to add an H here so I can retain the K sound bianchi. I pantaloni neri. I pantaloni azzurri. I pantaloni rossi. I pantaloni gialli. I pantaloni grigi, and that's not with a double I, it's just pantal pantaloni grigi. Okay, now let's go to our EI options. So if I want to say brown pants, i pantaloni, uh, we only need to think about the, the uh, choose whether it's singular or plural, it's plural, so we need to go with our plural option, which is, 
which is an I ending, i pantaloni marroni, i pantaloni verdi, i pantaloni arancioni. And finally, our last one, remember the no-brainer, it doesn't change for anything. So, i pantaloni blu, i pantaloni viola, i pantaloni rosa. Okay, let's go to our final one, le scarpe. Le scarpe, when we look at it, we the le is telling us that it is um, plural and that it is feminine. So, we want our plural feminine ending, which is e. So, it will be le scarpe bianche. Again, I need to um, include an H there, otherwise it would be le scarpe bianche. Mm. Le scarpe nere, le scarpe azzurre, le scarpe rosse, le scarpe gialle, le scarpe grigie. Okay, now let's go to our E or I ending. So, um, scarpe is plural. Um, we only have the option of E or I, which is our plural ending. Our plural ending is I um, because the E is singular. So, we have um, le scarpe marroni, le scarpe verdi, le scarpe arancioni. And the no-brainer never changes these three colors, le scarpe, le scarpe, le scarpe viola, le scarpe blu, le scarpe rosa. Okay, um, so... Where is the confusion? Um, the confusion is particularly with the EI adjectives. So um, why do students get confused? Well, they get confused because they, uh, they think that the adjective always has to match the noun. It does indeed have to match. But when we say match, we mean that it has to match grammatically. Not that the letters have to match. So notice that scarpe ends in an E, but marroni ends in an I. And the students get confused because they say, shouldn't it be scarpe marroni or scarpe marrone? Shouldn't they match? It's not about matching the last letters. It's about grammatically saying, okay, scarpe is plural and feminine. Marroni has to be plural and feminine. In this case, marroni can be plural feminine or plural masculine. We're not concerned about gender. Um... That's where the, the confusion um, is. Um, in the same way would be a plural, another feminine plural one like la gonna marrone. Students say, shouldn't it be la gonna marrona um, or uh, gonne marrone? Well, no, because it's not the last letter that has to match. It's the grammatical information. Gonna is singular, marrone is singular. Okay, um, if you understood that, that's fine. If you want to put yourself to the test, um, let's um, use some other um, nouns relating to clothes. So maybe i shorts, i pantaloncini, pantaloncini, um, socks, le calze, um, jumper, il maglione, and um, a t-shirt, la Maglietta. Okay, um, now immediately um, when you um, go to analyze each word to work out if it's masculine or feminine, singular, plural, don't be distracted by the ending. You're going to get your information from the article in front more so than the ending. So if you need to review your articles, this is definitely a good time to do that. You need to be able to recognize the, now, the gender and number of every article. Okay, so i pantaloncini, how would you say the red shorts? The red shorts. I pantaloncini rossi. How would you say the green shorts? I pantaloncini verdi. How would you say the pink shorts? I pantaloncini rosa. Okay, uh, let's go to um, socks, le calze. How would you say the yellow socks? Le calze gialle. Orange socks. 
le calze arancioni and the blue socks le calze blu let's go to the next one il maglione keep in mind don't worry about the e get your gender and number from the il bit so we want to say the um, light blue jumper il maglione azzurro the brown jumper il maglione marrone the purple jumper il maglione viola finally la maglietta we want to say the red t-shirt la maglietta rossa we want to say the green t-shirt la maglietta verde and finally the pink t-shirt la maglietta rosa also notice the difference in pronunciation red is a double s so it's a soft s maglietta rossa whereas um, pink is like a z sound la maglietta rosa okay remember if you have any questions to use the post-it notes the web notes to to ask the questions or ask me directly